Hello and welcome to this starter video for ISS Greta. Greta is our software program for analyzing gravity retaining walls. It can perform calculations uh, which assess the overall stability of the wall with respect to sliding and overturning. It checks for bearing capacity if it is adequate and can also calculate the shear force and bending moment in the stem of the wall. So this is our welcome screen. When we open up Greta, we create a new file. So once it opens up, you can see on the left side the input gateway and on the top we can see the menu icons which can be used to access different actions. It's always good practice to enter a job number and the initials of the person who is carrying out the analysis so for easy reference later. Once that's done, you can check the next um, uh, option, which is the units, and check whether everything is okay or not. The next is to select the analysis options, wherein we will uh, input the values uh, that the program needs to use for calculation. So we need to uh, include the derivation of bending moments, so we enter the following values. This is a hypothetical example only for demonstration purposes. So I will put the number of increments down the wall as 8. along the heel as 5 and along the toe as 4. Uh, there are three methods for selecting, um, calculating the soil pressures. There is the K0 method which is the um, earth pressure at rest using the earth pressure at rest. Ka is the one using the active earth pressure coefficient and the third method is using the average of both. I am going to select Ka for this model. Factor to be applied is 1 and if you want compaction pressures based on Syria, um, appropriate values can be filled in and the program will calculate. Now we click on apply and close the bo dialog box. Next we go to partial factors. Uh, there are three options. One is SLS which is of course one and then there are the Eurocode uh, design approach one and the Eurocode design approach two both are built in uh, into the program. For now I will keep SLS and click apply. Close the box. Uh, the next is to input the wall geometry. In this example, we will model a stem wall with the following uh, values. So the level at the top is 5.5, uh, W2 being 0.25, uh, thickness at the base as uh, 3.5. 7 and angle at the back is 0, um, W5 is 0 as well and thickness we will put 0.5 and distance is 1 meter from the back and W8 is 2.5. Uh, there is no shear key in this example so we will keep all 0. Um, S1 is 5.5 as my per my example. S2 being 18.4, S3 0, S4 is 0.5 and uh, level in front of the wall is 0.5 as well. Now we will uh, give a unit weight as 24 because it's concrete and apply and close the box. Next we will go to the material properties wherein we have to enter the material properties which the program uses to calculate the stability of the wall. Um, so the general is wherein we input the general parameters. Uh, what are the layers of soil we are going to encounter? So the first layer is fill. I will put in user specified values. The program can also calculate if you give the uh, required options. It's drained soil. Uh, the bulk unit weight above and below uh, the groundwater level are same here in this example uh, with a phi angle of 33, uh, no cohesion. Uh, the second layer is soil. 
which is also uh, put use a specified and a drained soil uh, which has a slightly higher bulk unit weight is 19 19 and uh, a phi angle of 37 with no cohesion so these properties do have to be uh, entered for the overall stability calculation as well so here is the ratio delta by phi um, for the virtual boundary and the soil wall which we have to enter based on our site conditions so if you refer the manual use a manual um, you can see how to uh, select these values the active earth pressure coefficient based on the phi angle is 0.328 i'm entering those values and for the soil as well i'm keeping one as the delta by phi ratio zero and one um, zero yeah ka as uh, 0 0.186 same like the value we entered in the previous menu. For bending moment calculations as well, we need to uh, enter the values, appropriate values, 0.56. Uh, the active coefficient is 0 0.328 again. Um, that's it then. Okay. 1 and 0 0.186. Okay. That's done. Next, we go to uh, material uh, layers wherein we have to uh, specify what are the soil layers behind and in front of the wall. So now we are going to give the same layers at the back and front. So here 0 meters OD is fill and minus 10 meters OD is the soil. So I'll give the same layers in the front as well. You can select based on the site conditions you are encountering on site. Okay, so now that's done as well. We'll go check the, the foundation properties are fine. So the allowable subgrade reaction uh, friction, we want to um, take 37 for the soil. And then we want to calculate the bearing capacity um, of the fill material. So we will choose the fill material here yeah. um, and then apply. Okay, now we are ready to analyze. So click on the analysis button. There are some warnings, but that's all right. Click on OK and check, uh, put, a, put a tick mark on whichever result you want to show in the tabular output. I'm just clicking on the results. If you click OK, you can see that the results are there already. And um, it, it is showing the pressures on the virtual back, virtual front. Um, also, it is uh, showing you the sliding factor of safety, which is uh, very high. So it shows that the wall is pretty safe. And overturning factor of safety is also high. Um, you can also see that the program has calculated the bearing capacity and it is saying that the bearing capacity of the soil is adequate in this case. Uh, if you go down, you can uh, see that other results are also given. Uh, if you want to uh, take this and do your analysis further, you can choose the values that are needed. Shear force and bending moment is given as well. For the graphical output, you can see that the graph is also uh, presented for resistance uh, to sliding slash overturning. You can see that the maximum is 37.38 kPa. And if you click on the bearing capacity check, you can see that the value is 10.52 and it is inside the middle third, which is safe. Thank you for watching the video.